Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today, we are not playing The Sims. We're playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. Well, the early version anyway. I've been wanting to play this game ever since I saw the trailer for it. I realize I'm a bit late to the party. I know a lot of people have already played it, but I finally got round to it. So my understanding is that this game is like half quests and then half simulation. The simulation part I'm most looking forward to, mainly because I wouldn't describe myself as the most competent person. So hopefully it's not just quest after quest. Because <laughs> generally speaking, I'm pretty shit at games. This is a cute little intro. I'm guessing that's going to be my house. Oh, we grow in a beanstalk. Okay. Dreamlight Valley. All these T's and C's, just accept. Don't even read them. Okay. Big fan of this loading screen. It's cute. So I'm guessing the first step is to create myself, right? The customization is pretty good. The only thing I will say, not happy that there's no pink. I mean, this is probably the closest. Well, I think that's me done. Looks about as much like me as I can do. Notice though there's no option to customize clothes, so I wonder if I have to like unlock clothes. All right, let's go save Disney Town. I imagine this is going to involve a lot of storytelling. Right, getting out of the hustle and bustle of the big city. Okay, so this is my house, this little yellow hut. I feel like Snow White, with all the sounds of the birds chirping. Oh, I wonder if this means that I used to live here when I was a child. Maybe I'm looking too far into the words. Oh, okay. So that was the opening story. Oh, ominous music. This is where it tells me something bad happened, I'm guessing. Oh, shit. Look at the state of it. Vines all round it. It's like the upside down Disney World. Oh, is that Merlin? Yeah, it is. Poor thing. Tuck it out. What was his movie? Uh, the Black Cauldron, that's it. Oh, here I am, star of the show. Come to save the day. What's this? Are my spectacles enchanted or might you actually be real? Well, I just met him, so we'll go charming. Of course I'm real. Well, you can never be too sure around here. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me. I haven't met anyone in ages. Ahem. Welcome to Dreamlight Valley, my friend. Well, it looks like a bit of a shithole. I might turn back and go back to the city. Dreamlight Valley? This place is... A shithole. Uh... Hmm. Shithole isn't an option. We'll go for sort of creepy. This place isn't dangerous, is it? Well, it's true that the valley is a sorry sight compared to what it used to be, but you have nothing to fear. Why, once upon a time, you couldn't find another realm with as much magic and wonder in it. Okay, but I haven't introduced myself yet. You're no doubt wondering who I am. No, no, I mean, I think it's pretty fucking obvious. You've even got a stick. Duh, you're Merlin, yeah. It's so strange, I almost feel like I know you. You're a great and powerful wizard, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yes. Oh, bless him. He's just being humble. But not just any wizard. <laughs> I'm a soothsayer. A prognosticator. Don't know if I've pronounced that right. I have the power to see into the future. All right, Merlin. Humble brag. Fucking hell. Oh. He's not shy, is he? And I'm also quite skilled at alchemy and prestigitation. Jesus, Merlin, do you need any more smoke up your ass? Now that that's settled, there's the small matter of who you are. Me? I'm Carla. Carla, hmm? Well, the only way to get to Dreamlight Valley is to pass through dreams. I don't want to see your dreams, Merlin. As long as they're dry dreams, I'll be fine. So, you must also possess great magic. Otherwise, how could you be here? I don't know. I'd, or maybe I should play along. I mean, he's been bigging himself up this whole time. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll big myself up too. Better watch out, Merlin. I'm pretty good at magic myself. That's right. Oh, deep. Sick burn. You're not the only soothsayer, prognosticator, prestigitator, and alchemist around here. Oh, this is going to blow back in my face, isn't it? I knew it. In fact, I'm quite certain that you're the one we've been waiting for. You're going to save Dreamlight Valley. Um... Don't put all that on my shoulders, Merlin. I'm just stopping by. My bus pass is still valid for the day. I can go back anytime I want. 
What's in it from me? What's in it for me? All the joys of Dreamlight Valley, of course. Ah, oh, this is a bit too much dialogue. Can we get on with it? If we're to restore the valley to what it was, a place of magic, of wonder, of friendship, we need to stop the forgetting once and for all. We must. We must. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't seem to remember what we were talking about. The forgetting? Ah, oh, yes, the forgetting. You'll have to forgive me, but now you can see where it gets its name. All right, listen closely and I'll tell you the tale before I forget again. Oh, no, listen, I don't need the backstory. You don't need to go into all that with me. I believe you. I'll just take your word for it. Don't oh, fuck it. Dreamlight Valley used to be a cheerful place full of happy villagers. Life was flourishing thanks to our ruler's magic. I'm loving the visuals. Until one day our ruler left without a trace and the forgetting came. Our memories began to fade and Dreamlight Valley became a sh We did our best to preserve the memories of life that had been. I don't think I'm, t I'm not fast enough at reading. I'm guessing their leader is Mickey, right? And as I can see into the future, I knew someday someone would come to restore the valley. Yet yeah, don't tell me any more. I'm ready to get on with it. Let's go. Well, there's only one way to be absolutely certain you're the one. Destined to save Dreamlight Valley from the forgetting. It'll be a small test of your magic. You see, ever since the forgetting, I've been puzzled about this house blocked by the night thorns. <gasps> Come along, we'll investigate it together. Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Welcome to Dreamlight Valley. Okay, so can I interact with the thorns? Or maybe this cute little tree? What am I supposed to be doing here? Mailbox? Hello. I've consulted my notes and discovered that night thorns began infesting through Dreamlight Valley soon after our ruler disappeared. Couldn't you just use a protractor instead? <laughs> no one, not even I, can remove the blasted things. Only someone who can harness the magic of Dreamlight will oh. be able to, and I'm certain that someone is you, Carla. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I suppose I am quite powerful. Of course, why else would I be here? Yeah, really amp up the arrogance. Focus your thoughts on the night thorns. Focus on it and say the magic words. Hidgetus fidgetus. Oh, okay. Oh. She just did it. I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> so I literally didn't have to do anything. She just kind of did it. Okay. Carla, this proves you can harness the power of Dreamlight Valley. Well, now that I know that my little avatar is going to do it all without my help, I'm going to make some outrageous claims now. There's nothing to lose, let's go inside and see what's become of this house. This is I my house. Oh, this looks like a right shithole. I don't know if I want to live here. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to clean this place up so that it's habitable. The Nightthorns have made their way inside the house too. Yeah, no shit, mate. That's strange. Suddenly, I can't remember why we came in here. Must be the Nightthorns. Okay, yeah, so when the characters are near the night thorns, they forget shit. You must remove them before they consume more memories. Focus your magic once again, Carla. Stop telling me to run along now. So I just press E to remove. It's, it's that easy. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I thought it might be a little bit more difficult than this. But yeah, I mean, this is very much more than manageable. I can investigate the glowing orbs. Oh no, I can just pick it up. Great, great. Oh, these must be my memories. So many to unlock. Characters. There are 17 characters, and so far I've met Merlin. <gasps> Ariel's in this game! She's the best one! I'm going to remove these logs as well. They're pretty grubby. Right, anything else I need to do around here? Merlin, wait. The glowing orb you pulled from the night thorn, it's a memory. It's like a fog has lifted, and I can recall something of great importance. He's standing behind the door. Mickey Mouse and I were at the Dream Castle, and we left something there, something important. All right, let's go. Fine. I know you don't remember, Merlin. You don't remember shit. That's why I'm here. There's something else returning to me. When our ruler left, the royal tools, the royal tools were lost, scattered through the valley. We must find them quickly. They're filled with ancient and powerful magic. Okay, so I've got to find these. So I got to get a pickaxe then, huh? Oh, Merlin, you just go on and on and on. No one's been able to lift the pickaxe from the stone. <laughs> well, I'm sure I can, otherwise you wouldn't have mentioned it. So let's... Come on now, let's go. No more nattering, let's go. Okay, so he's just declared this house my home. I'm not even reading all of this shit now, to be honest, because this is... This is very long. He's just given me a treasure chest that's got energy in it. 
Okay, so let's take a look at my quest log. I need to find the pickaxe, find the shovel, find the watering can, and find a fishing rod in the meadow. Plaza, plaza. So the pickaxe has got to be around my house then. Okay, let's go. Oh, I've got an email in my mailbox. How exciting. Thank you for purchasing the founder's pa- uh -huh. Is that it? Well, now that I can easily remove these thorns, I may as well make my house a little bit nicer. Also, a little something for me. Oh, a coin! I didn't think currency would be involved, but I suppose it is a Disney game. They love money. Oh my god, there's so many thorns. There's no way I'm going to be able to get rid of all of them. Oh, there's like a treasure chest over here. Is that mine? Is it like my inventory or something? Oh, there's the watering can. I was looking for the uh, the pickaxe. I thought the watering can was going to be near his house. For watering crops. Okay, great. So I wonder where the other shit is. Am I going to have to like remove all of this stuff? It does seem like a bit of a big ask for my first day. I mean, there is a lot of shit here. Oh, another treasure chest. Whose house is this? <gasps> I can just go in? Oh, it's Mickey's house. Oh, so I guess he wasn't the ruler. I think I'm not supposed to be in here. <laughs> Carla, oh boy, am I glad to see you. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have done this. I don't really want to get involved in this. I still have another quest to do. I'm not going to ask him if he needs help. Oh, new quest. Oh, fuck's sake. Well, let me finish the quest I'd started first. That was my fault. My fault. I shouldn't have been nosying around in my neighbor's homes. Oh, is he following me now? Oh, and there's Donald over there. Right, I'm just going to mind my own business and make my way to the castle. Oh, he's going to say, you don't have the stuff. This is the dream castle. It holds many secrets. Uh, answers. Uh, I'll blast it all. Well. I can't seem to remember what's inside. I bet that inside the castle we'll find oh. the key to saving the valley. Oh, Mickey's just following me around now. Let's just check my quests again. Let's take a look at this map. I mean, it's not exactly the most insightful map, is it? Oh, I think the game is trying to, like, guide me somewhere. Why are you taking me here? I can't do anything here. Cleaning up so much shit, I should be charging them for this service. Oh, she's hungry. I'll tell you what, why don't you... Oh, she can't do any magic. She's too hungry. What if I eat some of these? There you go. Eat an apple. You'll be fine. I'm guessing maybe I need to water this. I think I need to just, like, get out of my own head about doing all of these, oh, I'll water these plants, about finding all these things. And maybe try and focus on my collectibles a bit more, you know? So what have we got? A clothing bag. So what did we get? Something sexy? Oh, a plain turquoise top. Okay. Well, we'll wear it. Sure, sure. Do we have any dresses? Oh, no dresses. All right, you know what, Mickey? I'm feeling generous. I'll remove your thorns. You're so creepy. Why are you just standing there like that? Oh, can I take a book? Oh, sweet. I got myself a book. Oh, another memory. Him reading a book with, <laughs> with Ratatouille. <laughs> Great. What's in this chest? Some more clothes? A dress, perhaps? Maybe a low-cut shirt? All right, what do we get this time? Anything cute? <gasps> Aw, a mini backpack. Damn straight we'll wear that. Oh, look at me. Okay, cleaned up all your thorns. It's all coming back to me now. Dreamlight Valley used to be full of friends. Like my pal, Remy. He was always trying out new recipes. <laughs> and I was always happy to taste them. <laughs> I also remember when Remy had to leave. He left me all his recipes to keep safe for him. Oh, I'm guessing that's what I just picked up then. The night thorns came and everyone started to forget. Oh, that's why why he left. I buried his recipes all over the valley to keep them safe. That sounds pretty inconvenient. Why don't you just like keep them in your pocket or something? Seemed like the best idea at the time. Okay, his recipe could help me make meals. One recipe we can get right now. The memory you found should give us a clue as to where we can find the recipe. Oh, oh okay. Oh, so it shows me where I can get it. So the asparagus is in Frosted Heights. Huh, okay. Coo, coo. So we gotta find Cher Remy, or Chez Remy. Oh, I think I found it! 
Mickey hid a hidden recipe. Oh, there's the spade. Yeah, that's right. So I guess now I can plant things. Okay, okay, space bar, sure. I got it. What's this little thing here? Oh, it's a little squirrel. Maybe he would like some corn. No. Well, fuck you then, squirrel. Okay, let's just try digging here. Oh, oh, I found some corn. Anything here? Some rocks. Oh, that looks like a recipe to me. Oh, and if I could get through those rocks, I could dig there, but I don't have the, um, the axe yet. Use the fruit salad recipe in your backpack. Hey, sweet success. We got me a fruit salad. Oh, don't tell me you want oh, another favor. To see you. We found the shovel and the recipe for, for fruit salad. Oh, oh, I'm sure I'll find some exciting recipes. Okay, so we got to gather the ingredients for this fruit salad. Meet me there when you want to make the fruit salad. Here are some overalls to wear if you want to look the part for when it comes to gardening. Oh, dress your best clothing. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Another clothing bag. Let's see what's inside, what we got, what we got. Oh, yellow Mickey high tops, okay. Yeah, sure, we'll go for it. Okay, so I've got to go to Mickey's house to make some, well, the garden actually, to make some fruit salad, but I'm gonna go see what Scroogey, Scroogey Scrooge wants. You're right, Scrooge. You gave me quite a start. Don't you know never to sneak up on someone while he's contemplating his investment? Fuck you then, I'll put the thorns back up, shall I? Dickhead. You don't have to yell at me, that's right, in your fucking place. So he's upset that his shop has become a mess. But you can he be hopeless about it. A true visionary sees opportunity in every corner. After the sky went dark, most of the villagers skedaddled and fewer and fewer clients came in until they stopped altogether. So he stayed to take care of his shop and his money, of course. And then he doesn't remember anything. I've got a deal for you, Carla. If you help me make enough star coins to put my shop back in business, I'll make sure it's stocked with everything needed to put the valley back together. Goofy used to have a stall in the meadow to the south. I'm sure he'd appreciate any help you can give him. The lad doesn't exactly have a mind for money. You'll need to find a way to break the rocks. Okay, fine. Well, I should be able to do that anyway. Because i got to find the axe. Yeah, I've been using my map, but I haven't really found it to be that useful, to be honest. But, whatevs. He didn't actually say how much money he needed. Let me check my quests. Oh, okay, he just wants me to find Goofy. Okay, fine, fine. I thought maybe he'd have, like, a monetary, monetary value attached to it. There's so much shit for me to collect. Oh, another treasure chest. More clothes, maybe? Oh, no, just big coin. Loads and loads of collectible stuff. Coal, sticks, flowers, which is all well and good, but I still need to find this bloody axe. I am getting quite a lot of sticks though, which is good. Can't I just get to the meadow by sliding down here? Oh no. Okay, fine, fine. Just harvest some shit, collect some shit. My house is looking okay. So I can restore my energy here. Use my house's storage for a second inventory. I don't think I've, like, unlocked or, like, got any kind of furniture yet, have I? Oh, no, I've got some. Okay, okay. Well, let's start with a wooden floor. Maybe yellow walls. Okay, that's everything I've got so far. But you know what? It's nothing to be scoffed at. We'll just gradually improve this place bit by bit. Well, you know what? Seeing as my energy replenishes every time I go home... Might just try and clean up the thorns in the surrounding area around my house. Just to make the atmosphere a bit nicer for me. Now there's the castle, so think about this. Where could this freaking axe be? Oh, there's strawberries! Oh yeah, I'll get my hands on some of them. Don't mind if I do. There's a hole here looking to be dug. Oh wait, it's not a hole. It's a letter. With a glowing orb in it. Oh, what does it say? The plaza is the heart of Dreamlight Valley. It's where all the valley citizens come together to help each other when needed and to celebrate whenever we have an excuse. Oh, you party animals. No, I know what it's like. Some more stuff here for me to harvest. Oh, there it is. Finally. 
I got the pickaxe. Yes. The axe is mine. It looks like something rather dramatic is happening. Oh, it's turning into daytime, I guess. <laughs> Light falls upon the valley. Okay, perfect. So I can break open some of these rocks now. Which I guess gives me materials for building and shit. Oh, and another recipe! <gasps> Mickey's gonna be so proud. Poor guy, he's still over there waiting for me to make a fruit salad. Can I open this this rock? Do it again. And again. You're clearly not giving it enough oomph. I got a jewel. Oh, yeah. I'm having a great time. I'm really enjoying this. I'm running low on energy, but that's fine. I'm going to go back to my house, equip some of the stuff I got in my mailbox, and then I'll go meet Mickey and make him a fucking fruit salad because he's just gagging for it. Come on then, let's go home. Look at how much stuff I've got in my inventory now. Did I not open that chest? I guess not. What did I get? Some AirPods? Oh, a chair. Right. Sure. Oh, and five apples, three cookies. Brilliant. These are all the items in my wardrobe. I'm gonna try on my dress. Oh, it's a top, it's not a dress. Yeah, I think I prefer the shorts. You know, have a little bit of skin on show. Right, what have I got? I've got a rug. Beautiful. I've got loads of stuff. Mickey Mouse wallpaper. I mean, I think it's kind of hideous. I think we'll stick with the yellow. A blue dining chair. A dining table. Armchair. Well, I might just remove some of this. Well, I've only really locked one room, so I can't really have much in here, can I? So for now, let's just stick to the sofa, rug and, and coffee table. There we go. Oh no, I didn't want the, I didn't want this top. I wanted to keep my green top. Right, so before I go into the meadow, I suppose I better go meet Mickey. You're right, Mick. There isn't much left of my garden. It needs a little love. Yeah, it just hasn't been the same since the night thorn showed up. Aww. Minnie definitely wouldn't be happy if she saw it like this. She loves gardens. We need fruit like apples. Oh, and you know what would be great with the fruit salad? Some crackers. <laughs> okay, fine. Where do I get the crackers from, though? That's what Minnie used to make. Oh. Oh, she left you? Guess I just wish she were here to make them now. Oh, that that's what you miss about your girlfriend, is it? The cooking. They're making the food, is it? You fucking misogynist, Mickey. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> fucking, he wants me to actually bake the crackers with wheat. Oh, you're taking the piss, mate. Absolutely taking the piss. We have to plant some wheat. Here are some seeds. Well, I've already got wheat seeds, but thanks anyway, I guess. Oh, and he's given me some lettuce, some carrot. It'll be great to replace all those ugly night thorns with some nice plants. Okay, fine. I will do this for you because I'm so nice. Let's dig up this hole and then we'll break this rock as well. Just dig in lots of holes. This is like how I like to go, what I do when I go to the beach. Just dig in holes. Mick, get out my fucking way. You want some plants or not? I swear, Mick, you seem like a nice guy, but sometimes you can really be a pain in my asshole. All right, let's get some seeds planted then. We'll stick a carrot over there. Some wheat over here. Lettuce, maybe. Oh, I just picked up some soil. Right, there you go, Mick. You've got some stuff planted. What, what do you want now? Use the book in your backpack to learn the crackers recipe. Okay, I'll learn Minnie's crackers recipe. Just need some wheat. Great, now we need to water them before they dry out. Minnie always says to pay attention. Minnie, Minnie, Minnie. She ain't fucking here, is she? So, less of the, oh, you should do this, Minnie said so. I am glad that I can water multiple plants at once. That is that is good. There we go. Oh, look at my energy. I am exhausted. Ooh, hey there. Wow, Carla, you've sure got a green thumb. Thanks, Mickey. Gardening is so... Stressful. <laughs> well, now that you know how to garden, why don't you get some ingredients ready for the fruit salad? Apples grow all the time on apple trees around the village. If you've already picked some, you might need to wait for more to grow, but don't worry, it shouldn't take too long. And make sure to keep some of each ingredient so you'll always have something to make for your friends. Oh, my wheat has grown already. Well, this place is looking a, a bit cheerier than it did before. 
Go to your house with Mickey to start cooking. Okay, fine. Come on, Mick, we're going to my place. No funny business, all right? We're just gonna make your crackers and then I'm gonna head to the meadow. Oh, I've got some clothes that I never opened. Silly me. Oh, they're playing the Little Mermaid song. Right, what have I got now? A red backpack. It's not as good as my Minnie Mouse one. And then what's this one? Black polo shirt. Boring. Also, I'm in here. Where the fuck is Mick? Was I supposed to, like, ask him to come with me? I guess I must have done. Oh, we're now synced in real time. Oh, well, that's clever. Well, where the fuck is Mickey then? Was I supposed to talk to him again and tell him to follow me? I mean, he's fucked off now. Well, he's gonna have to sort himself out. I gotta go find Goofy. Get to this meadow place. Oh, is that a fishing rod over there? Yes, it is. Yes. Right, where are you, Goof? Do you reckon this is Goofy's house? Yeah, it is. Hey, Goof. How's it going? We've got the same furniture, it seems. I won't go and talk to him with an axe in my hand. I'll be polite about it. Oh, there's something on the floor there. What's this? A bit of paper. You're right, Goofy. Do you want to give these items? Uh, I guess. Hi there, pal. It's somebody new. Say, you're not the scary kind of stranger, are you? You're just a friend I haven't met yet, right? Of course I'm a friend. It's been a real long time since I've seen anybody else. I've been waiting for someone to come along ever since the sky got dark and the night thorns crept in. But now you're here. We're going to be good pals, I just know. That's a bit presumptuous. We'll have to clean up though and then we can go fishing. Of course I have to find my lucky fishing rod. Oh, I think I already found your fishing rod. Only one problem, it seems to be broken. Thanks Carla, here let me see. Oh, it was just jammed up with seaweed, but it's all fixed now. Tell you what, now that I have my lucky fishing rod back, I'll give you this one I found after the forgetting so we can fish together. Oh, great. Well, here you go. It's all yours. Thanks, Goof. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. And here's a groovy hat so you can look like a real angler. Goofy, I'm not being funny, but that's a shit hat. What do you think of the hat? Pretty spiffy, huh? Ah, uh, It's... Nice. You're never gonna see it on my head. Let me show you how to use your new fishing rod. Okay, okay. I think that's the last of the tools that I've unlocked now. Aim for the ripples. Okay, so I just, same way that all the other stuff is used. Okay, fine. I guess I'll pick up this orb. And then I guess we'll go fishing with Goofy. What's this about then? Glad to visit Goofy. He always has a kind word and uh, such silly ideas, but he means so well. And when he laughs, I can't help but smile. Oh, well, I guess we're going fishing. Oh, there's some bubbles right there. Let me just equip my fishing rod. Oh, so is this my little aimer thing? Yeah, I don't think I'm very good at this fishing stuff. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. Hey! What did I catch? A fish? Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Let's try again. See if we can catch a fish this time. Oh, I got something. I got something. Oh, what did I get? A rainbow trout. Help Goofy get back in business. Hey, Goof. Wait up. Wait up. Goof, wait the fuck up. What do you know? You're a natural, Carla. That was fun. I'm sure it sure is, and it's useful too. You can sell your fish at my stall. Soon as we get it reopened, that is. Okay. So, what do I need to do? Oh, follow Goofy to his stall. Okay. Oh, treasure chest. I love treasure. What did I get? Oh, some more clothing. Your inventory is full? No. Expand. 5,000 coins. I don't have enough. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to drop some of these stones. I don't need them. There we go gonna have to go back home at some point then and use my little chest. Hey Goof, I guess it's a little more run down than I thought but that's okay, Uncle Scrooge's construction company can fix it up. You can use the sign to call him. Let's get this piece of paper right here. There we go. Amusing rivalry lately, Scrooge can't for the life of him figure out why Goofy's stall is more profitable. Goofy started trying to help but that's going about as funny as Goofy's help always does. 
So I can bring Scrooge here, I guess. Oh, oh here we go. It's here. about time Goofy fixed this place up. I'm glad he's got you to help. Now let's get down, let's get down to business. Goofy can have this stall at no extra cost, since the valley needs it. But next time, I won't be as generous. What do you say? Oh, yes, oh, oh. fix it. Fix it now. Goofy's stall is open for business. If you see another property you're interested in, don't hesitate to let me know. Perfect. Oh, so that quest, that part of the quest is done. Hey, beautiful. Be active in the valley, gather resources, sell what you don't need to Goofy stall and receive coins. Huh, okay, that's good to know. Well, for now, I mean, there's obviously a business that needs helping over there, but... Oh, is that Mickey? I need to try and get him to come to my house so we can make those crackers. Hey, you want to come to my house? We need some apples and wheat to make a fruit salad. Yeah, I got those. We can do that at your house when you're ready. No. I have the apples and the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, I will go home. Maybe I didn't pick them up properly or something. I'm getting exhausted. So I'll go home. I'll put some treasures in my little storage chest. Okay, open storage. Right, got more my rocks in there. Yeah, I already have apple and wheat in there. Okay, so I'm going to transfer... Which recipe is this, actually? I might... That might be the one I need. Right, my precious gems. I don't need to carry them around with me. Uh, my clothing item, I can just open that. <gasps> a donut chair! Oh, that is fucking brilliant. I've got to use that. Of course we're using the donut chair. Brilliant. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I've got all of the ingredients I need. Oh, Mickey's over there now. Right, Mick, come on. Stop teasing me here. Oh, we got to go I do some cooking. Oh, I still need to talk to Merlin. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had to talk to him after I got all the items. Sorry, Merle, I've just been a bit Hello. preoccupied. Everything in Dreamlight Valley is made of, well, Dreamlight. It's the sparkle you see over everything and everyone, even a wizard such as myself. But Dreamlight became sc scarcer and scarcer as the forgetting fell over the valley. Ever since you arrived, though, the magic has started to come back. <laughs> oh, shucks. Well, I don't know. The magic is connected to me. I have to use it wisely. As long as you keep that wish in your heart, you need not fear. Dreamlight magic grows stronger through acts of friendship, love, and care. Oh, fuck off. What is this, a Disney movie? Simple acts like rem removing night thorns and or foraging a friendship with me. Gaze into the well and you'll discover different tasks that will create more dream light. Since you already found all the royal tools, the wishing well is reacting to your newfound powers, but we should start simply. Look into the well to find out what the valley needs. Okay, as long as they're done in the spirit of friendship, love and care. Okay, fine. Use dream light to restore the valley. So I'm guessing that is going to be how I um, do the castle thing. Remove four night thorns. Oh, I've done that. Catch three fish, harvest three fruit, prepare two meals, mine two minerals, plant five vegetables. There's loads, though. There's loads. Well, I think on that note, I'm probably going to end this video here because we've been playing for a little while now. Um, but I'm having fun. I'm loving this. So I think we're definitely going to pick up on this again, play it again soon. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a full-on Let's Play, because I'm going to play this game either way. So if you want to watch, then I'll make a Let's Play. But uh, yeah, on that note, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.